Welcome back, everybody, to Ranch Simulator Season 2, Episode 10, and we're going to be doing some sausage production in this episode, as well as a few other things, sell some products. But we're going to start here in the hardware store because I got a comment asking me to show the paint. So here's where the paint is, the color machine, uh, right here in the hardware store. There's where you buy your normal stuff, right over there. And then in this corner, you press E, Here's all the uh, colors that you can do. You can just do any color that you want. Uh, for instance, I actually want yellow for the beehives. So if I go and ask Google, right? If I say, give me the HEX RGB color of yellow. All right, so Google says yellow. Get rid of this, okay, let's go F, 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 four Fs and two zeros. Enter, there's our yellow. So this is gonna be for our beehives. So I'm gonna go over here. I don't really want true white, so I'm gonna go ahead and save the color right here. So now I have the color saved. So that's all there is to it. You can uh, use, like I did, ask Google for the uh, hex RGB values of any color that you can think of. This uh, is the color that we painted the meat packing house, and it is actually burgundy. That is 8,020 for the color of burgundy. So there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buy this yellow, and I don't think I need more. It's 20 per. So I don't have 20, uh, 20 anything to paint of yellow except for my beehives. So that's all I need is one. And there it is, there's my color. And we'll put that right there. So I also picked up some extra stoves because we are expanding the cheese production uh, by 12. So we're going to have 24 stoves to match the, uh, the amount of milk that we're producing. Uh, I also uh, cut down the cows. We are going to stop at six. The facility will do, uh, you know, three per stall, and we've got 12 stalls. I don't need 12 and 24 things of milk because you can do this twice a day. Uh, the, it takes me too long, way too long to get things done. So, like I said, this playthrough is about how, you know, a single person should be able to manage their ranch and be able to do things all within a day. So, yeah, uh, even though it can do, that capacity, we're not going to do that capacity because I just can't do that, record videos and show you more, you know, things in the gameplay. So let's go right up here and let's put these stoves up real quick. This is the nice thing about this design is we can work right here off the back of our truck, very close to where we need to be. Yeah, so I set this up, here's the color purple. Uh, I also painted our grapes over there, the the, um, the wood around the grapes purple. So uh, this is where the purple ended up, and I think it looks nice in here. It gives it that nice, uh, that nice mellow vibe. goes goes right with the theme of this uh, whole Zen type of uh, setup. Uh, purple is a relaxing color, and I don't mind it on these tables one bit. So that takes care of that suggestion so let's see if i can line these up and get another six on here i think i can let me check this out yeah this one can come over just a little bit and this one can come over just a little bit and we'll throw this guy on here and just like that okay so now i have enough oh, nice jump I have enough uh, pots here to run through the complete amount of milk that I produce so I don't have to wait on anything. And so, yeah, that'll go just like that. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Hey, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. I hope you're having a awesome day. I am so enjoying my ranch, and I cannot thank you guys enough for the comments helping me out, painting the ranch, building the ranch, adding your suggestions. And as you guys know, I thank you with the scroll of names. And we are getting more names. Just remember, you comment, you end up on this scroll. Doesn't matter which one of my videos you comment on, you end up here and here you go. Thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate your support. I love you all. Now, I did a couple of other things real quick before we get to the sausage. Uh, I redid the paint on the roof so it looks like this now. It's got a more triangle defined look with the black. And because the windows are so bright, that white up there was just too much for me. So I think this looks very good. I like it a lot. 
Uh, let's go uh, take a look at the uh, full painting of our meat processing plant. We went with white trim to match the white barn. That was also a suggestion. Thank you so much for that. And of course, here's the chicken coop. And I think it looks awesome. I hope you guys do too. So I think we've got a nice balance of colors going on here, a nice layout. Uh, once we get the house built, I want to go back up there at the top of the mountain there, right there. There's the road. And I want to look down on the ranch again and see how it looks fully fleshed out. Uh, but let's head on in here and let's see if I can remember how to produce some of this sausage. So we've got our milk right here. We'll grab a couple of these milks. And I have a lot of things to take to market. I'd like to end the episode with that after we get some sausage going. All right, these are our first uh, slaughters. So maybe it might be smart for me to go grab a cooler or two. <laughs> it, might, uh, it might take that. Also added this small little truck just for, I don't know, just to have a small little truck, I guess. Uh, cows are all milked. Everything's good there. Let's just grab a cooler. We'll throw it on here. We we'll probably need a couple of coolers. I, I can't remember how much they produce when you uh, explode them. So this is 24 and 48. Uh, hopefully that'll be enough. All right, let's take this over there. Yeah, so this should be fun. I kind of remember how to do this. So I've got the milk. I've got the egg. Yeah, so let's go ahead and set this down. I've got to finish painting this floor. And also, anybody have an idea for what the color of the inside of the uh, slaughterhouse here uh, should be? Now, I could tell you this from working in a meatpacking plant a long time ago in Aurora, Illinois. Aurora Meatpacking. When I was a mere lad, uh, they painted it white and yellow, a combination of a half tone, yellow on the bottom and white on the top, but we can't do that. So I'm thinking maybe we go with uh, either a, not this gray, but maybe a, a step up or even that white that we have on the fence. I don't know, you guys let me know. Here's the first explosion. Oh, that wasn't too bad. All right, not too bad. All right, let's get these guys all slaughtered up here. Like I said, I'm, I haven't done beef in a while, so I mean, uh, sausage in a while, but I think I remember how it's done. But I know if you make a mistake, it turns into those meatballs. So I know if I hit the wrong button, uh, I'm going to be messed up. So I'm going to have to take it slow and uh, kind of remember how to do this. But yeah, this will be interesting. I want to see uh, what this is going to fetch us for an end product. So I thought what we would do is get this going and then uh, go to market, sell some... Uh, blue cheese and other products, grapes, things like that. Wow, that filled that up. Okay. All right, we still have a few pieces of meat here. So can I just put these on here and then throw them into the grinder instead of running and getting another cooler? Uh, I think this, this setup works great. I can't wait for, uh, let's just take a look here. Real split up the cows. We've got a pregnant one. We've probably got more pregnant ones now. Uh, and there, she's over there, and Brito's over there with her. So Brito's going to be roaming around on this side of the uh, ranch in his retirement, flirting it up with the ladies that he can't do anything with. So, yeah, it's kind of a kind of a double-edged sword for Brito. You know what I mean? <laughs> you get my drift. You know he's going to be around, but he can't. You know, be Brito, the ladies' man. Well, he can, I guess. I guess he can flirt him up. All right, so. Oh. Does this go in here? Turn on. All right, now. Did that just fall somewhere? Where, where does that end up now? Do I take this? And how do I do this? All right. I don't remember. I got to put another one. Is it a, is it more than one? Is that what it is? Oh, that's throwing itself on the ground over here. What's going on? Oh, I know what I got to do. I'm sorry, folks. All right. Like I told you, it's been a while. All right. This guy's got to go here. And I'm leaving this in and it's a lesson to show like new players what you got to do. So we got to install this. And then we're going to put this 
like this. And then we're going to put this in here. And then we're going to turn it on. All right, now I remember. Okay, so now we take our egg, add it to this, and then we take our milk, add our milk. All right, it, it, it all came back to me. Okay, now I need to pick up. If I take product, it's going to put in. There we go. Turn that on. Now this is going to drop a sausage right on the ground. Perfect. All right. All right, we're rocking and rolling. All right, so I didn't need this extra pan. I would need another machine, but I, I don't want to do that because I just like to relax and do this. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, make a record on how fast I can make sausage. It's just about playing the game, man. You know, chilling out. This is how we make sausage. So awesome. We've got this down. Always remember, you have to pick this up. If you remove the ingredients, you're going to be uh, getting a meatball, and you don't want that. All right, so now that I got rid of the loose meat, I can kind of get a production thing going here. So I've got, let's see, I put my eggs like this, right? And we do like this. Beef, in, enter, egg, egg. Milk, milk, don't drop, put it down, pick it up, put it in, hit enter, put it back, rinse and repeat. So here's, here's the little flow right here. So uh, what I'll do is I'll crank out enough sausage to uh, hang it there for us. And uh, yeah, then we'll... Uh, We'll move on. So I'll be right back. Let me just crank out a little bit of sausage here, get my rhythm going, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, and I've got everything done here. I've got uh, those hanging, and I've got these. We can go ahead and just throw these into this cabinet here. So here's our uh, beef processing all ready to go. Uh, you could absolutely double up on this and get your rhythm down to be able to run two of them. Uh, but like I said, guys, I'm just showing you, you know, just how my setups would be, etc. How I would run it, you know, on a single player, trying, you know, being able to do, you know, here's the point of what I'm trying to get across on, on this, on this season two playthrough is if you are a single player trying to play the game and like the adjustment I made with the cows, all right, trying to play the game in a day cycle, being able to do everything on your ranch in a day cycle, get it all done. That's what the build's about. That's where I tweak it. That's why the cows, although we could, the dairy cows, I mean, although we could have more dairy cows and we could produce more milk. We could produce 24 cans of milk a day, but that's what the day would be. And that would be all I would be doing is dairy farming. So leaving it with six cows makes it playable if you understand what I'm saying. And yeah, I know I don't have to have them in separate pens. They could all be more condensed, but this is just, you know, to show what the build is capable of. So I don't mind them being separate. Actually, it's nice because it gives separate poo piles and it's easier to pick up the poo piles. So that's my uh, argument for, for not combining them. <laughs> So I could pick up the poo piles. All right, so let's see. Here we are already at this part of the day, right? It took me, from the time I got up, we went and got paint. We went and got uh, the stoves, added it to the uh, end of the dairy there. Ground up the sausage, hung the sausage, and it's already almost 1,800, almost time for another milking. But what I want to do is I want to see how much money we have. I'm getting a little low on funds. Let's take a look. I'm at 6,800, but we've got money just lying around. So what I thought we would do is let's grab, uh, I think this vehicle right here is empty. Thanks to uh, surveil, survival, survival. It's survival like that, I think. The two, the two words are put together to form the word survival. I, that's what I think it is. I think that's awesome. Anyway, let's, uh, let's sell some product and see how much we make. So we are pretty much at the point now where we've got honey production going, we've got milk and cheese dairy production going. The milk will have to supply both ends here. I know those cows over there will give me milk, but again, I have to go get that milk. This milk gets made every morning. I can divert it over here 
uh, into the beef, just slaughter the, the, the beef cows, period. And uh, yeah, we need to double up on the chickens, that's for sure. We are going to have to get another uh, chicken coop built. We are going to have to get... I came here because I want to drop off the damn paint. <laughs> All right. Hey, anyway, let's check it out real quick, right? You know how I play. Let's paint this. Oh, look at this. We can have yellow with black tops. All right, I'm going to stop right here. You guys let me know. Yellow and black tops or full yellow, full black, and repeat the process. So I'm not going to do anything. Let's set that there. You guys let me know. I think I'd like to go with it. Let's just, I'll show you what it looks like. I've got black over here. Let's just go ahead and check out what it looks like. We have this combination, or we can do this combination. I think I like this combination better. That's too black. You guys let me know what you think. I like this one. I vote for the one on the right. You guys let me know what you think. All right, let's go get some of the uh, product. Nice to be able to just throw the paint on like that and show you guys and be able to get... Uh, get your opinion on it let me go in this way i have fallen off of here into the pen <laughs> and uh yeah that wasn't good don't want to get stuck there we go yeah let's load this stuff up right here and yeah like i said we're gonna have to go and put another coop over on that other side we got to get this we definitely want to get our is any of this ready oh yes it is let's go ahead and add this to the uh to the money yes yes more money more money let's it's gonna be i'm really curious to see how much money i have all right, so this is kind of a mixture. These are mistakes, guys. This is what happens when you accidentally hit uh, the uh, ovens and start turning them on before uh, you've added the uh, the rest of your mixture. All right, so this is going to fill up one of these. This is all pro this is all product we're going to sell right here. All of this stuff right here, folks. This is cow cheese. We'll mix this up. I can't. This is full. That's why. All right. Need another cooler. What do we got here? Got wild meat. Let's go ahead and use this cooler. Got wild meat in here. Just combine them. See how much money we make. All right, great. All right, so that's that. That's that. Grapes. What's in this one? Cow cheese. Just one? That's all? Can I take that out and put it in here? Yeah. All right, great. All right, so let's load all this up for market. And uh, yeah, let's see how much we get. This will be uh, this will be quite interesting. Got turned around there. Sorry, folks. Let me get rid of the empty one. Try to stay organized. Yeah. So let me know what you think of this new setup like this. I like it. Oh, I also have my little egg checker. So I've been uh, actually not removing the fertilized eggs. I've been finding them and then uh, separating them. So the egg production is getting up there, but it's it still has a little bit to go to be able to satisfy all of our production needs. And I think what we're going to do in the next episode, guys, is we're going to get that house built. Let me see if I can get up here and do this. Can I reach that? I can. I most certainly can. Put you on here. There we go. Yeah, so we'll get the house built and... That'll tie that in. And like I said, the house is just for aesthetics. We do all our production in our production building. So I don't use the house as any kind of production type of building. So it's more for decoration. I'll always save in my little uh, my little homeless shelter there. My little storage area. All right, let's get this down to the market. How much you think we're going to make? And it's also time for me to get the oil. But I'm going to do that off camera. I think selling oil is boring. <laughs> so... Let's just head on over to the beef market. Yeah, that's where we want to go. And we're also going to get the house built, and we're also going to dive into this this uh, whole farming aspect of the game. We still have that to cover in this series. Uh, so we still have uh, some more things to do on the ranch and to experiment with and play with. And thank you so much, everybody, for supporting these uh, playthroughs. I do appreciate it. And without you guys uh, supporting it, uh, I just would feel like a total, uh, I, I just feel crappy making them <laughs> if nobody was liking them. <laughs> but you guys like them, and I can't thank you enough for it. You guys are all awesome, and you know it, and you're on my wall to prove it. Cheese white mold. You know what? I actually have a couple of those just cheese white mold in there that were uh, done by mistake. Let's see what we got here. We have 59188 a lot of money here, folks. A lot of money. That's not a bad little haul. We're back. Uh, we're back in the cash, folks. Sixty-five thousand nine hundred and eighty-eight dollars and twenty-three cents. Outstanding. Again, 
Outstanding. Look at that. Very good. All right, we have money. We don't have money issues. We are in uh, the money. We are a profitable ranch at this point. And that's what it's all about. So here we are. Look, at the end of the day, it's 1900, so I will have to milk my cows again. And uh, yeah, that, <laughs> and tend to the bees. And the cycle starts all over again at 0600. So this is it, man. This is, uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I could have taken the shortcut. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I'm talking to you guys right now, and I'm not really paying attention to the driving part of it. Look at this ranch, folks. Look at this ranch at sunset. I tell you, we should all be very proud. It is one beautiful, beautiful ranch. I love it. You guys have been so awesome helping me and, uh, you know, just making this so much fun. So what we're going to do is uh, we, we've got our sausage production going. I'd like to get some suggestions on an interior color. Don't go crazy. Uh, let's keep it looking as sharp as it is. Let's go in here and just end it in here so we can take a look and think about. This is the floors. I think we're just going to stay with these uh, industrial gray floors. And uh, yeah, we could do a two-tone. We could do a top and a bottom, guys. I prefer the top to be white, and I'll tell you why. Let's take a look here real quick as I end it. It helps with the lighting. You see what I mean here? So having this white, I think, is good because it brightens up when you're working in here. And you guys tell me. So if we keep the top white like this, right, and then paint this bottom part. So I'd like a suggestion on that. And as always, everybody, thank you so much for joining me on these episodes. I love you all. And remember what I always say, happy ranching, ta-ta, and bye-bye.